Hi, welcome to Raw Today I'm doing a series of videos on logarithmic functions. In this video, I want to talk about how to graph a logarithmic function. So ultimately what I want to graph is y equals log base three of x. The problem is normally if you're graphing by using a table of values, you put in a bunch of values, you figure out the y to the x and graph. But if I start to put in a bunch of x values, I'm gonna get a lot of decimals. It's not going to be as pretty as I want it to be, or as simple, because ultimately I'd like to be able to do this without a calculator. Now, the inverse of log is an exponential. So remember, logs are exponents, which means in this equation, y is the exponent, and log answers the question three to what power is x? So three to the y equals x. So because this is the inverse, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by graphing the inverse. So if I put in the values negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three to the negative two is the same as one over three squared, which is one ninth. Three to the negative one is one third. Anything to the power of zero is one. 3 to the first is 3, and 3 squared is 9. Okay, so then I graph this. Negative 2, 1 ninth, negative 1, 1 third, 0, 1, 1, 3, and 2, 9 is off the graph, but that's okay because I'm really just needing to get the smooth exponential curve with arrows. Remember, this is your asymptote. Um, an asymptote is a barrier you cannot cross, so though this goes forever, left and right, it will never touch the x-axis or cross the x-axis. Exponents cannot make a number equal zero or make a number negative because you're multiplying a number to itself. Because of this, because this goes forever left and right, the domain of an exponential is all real. Now I could write all real. I could do the double bar r. I could do um, negative infinity is less than x is less than positive infinity, or my preferred method is interval notation, negative infinity to positive infinity. The domain is all real, because that's your x values. The range, we just said this is an asymptote, so this will never equal zero, but this will forever be getting closer and closer to zero. So our range is either f of x is greater than zero, or you can do interval notation, zero to infinity. I'm using parentheses here because we can't equal, the same as there's no equal sign there. Okay, so the thing is, we said these are inverses. So where x is here, y is here. So we can take all our x values and make them our y values. So we can put in the negative two, the negative one, the zero, one, two. Where y is here, we have x. So we can transfer all of our y values to our x values so that we have 1 ninth, negative 2, 1 third, negative 1, 1, 0, 3, 1, 9, 2. This would be a hard list to come up with on the fly, but using the inverse, it helps. So 1 ninth, negative 2, 1 third, negative 1, 1, 0, 3, 1. Again, 9 is outside the scope of the graph. That's okay. We just need a nice curve, a nice continuous curve. And now we have the graph of log base 3 of x. The beauty of this inverse is because x becomes y, the domain becomes the range, all real because y becomes x, the range becomes the domain. In the inverse, everything switches. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.